The Mr and Mrs of Enduro, Greg Callahan and Katie Winton, sacrificed everything last year, spending four months living on the road chasing their dream. Having both now signed for major teams, the risk is paying off. I caught up with them for a cuppa in the camper. So guys, thank you for this cup of tea. Perfectly brewed, nice and cosy. You've been living out of this on and off for the last two years. What's life been like on the road for you? We've seen a lot of the world in the van and yeah, definitely experienced a lot of really cool things. It's been really good. Makes you really appreciate what you've got at home because you just make do with what you have in here and get by with it all. What about the most notable things that you don't have? Shower. <laughs> Regular showers <laughs> and general hygiene. <laughs> that, must, that must be pretty hard after a race, like a muddy mm. or, or a really sweaty race. The reason that you've been doing this for so long, privateering yourself, was to get noticed by some of the bigger teams, which has happened now. How much difference has that made for you? Huge, huge difference. Just to be able to not live on that bread line and not have the stress of, the, you know, logistics of everything of you know figuring everything out last year we know we had to work work all winter and save up for the season and you're stressing and then this year it was our job to train and be the best we could be at riding our bikes so yeah the difference in both our fitness and our preparation for this season is just huge I'm going straight to the bottom with you massively paid off. It was an amazing weekend just gone in Ireland. What was the build up to that like? Oh, it was unbelievable. The whole week leading up to it, like the support was unbelievable. It wasn't a moment of silence. Everyone was just cheering. Even when I was cycling up to the stages, people were going mental cheering for me. And the noise on the tracks all day was just unbelievable. And uh, yeah, I, I probably had the perfect day on the bike. At what point did you start thinking, this could definitely happen for me here today? I was trying not to think like that because I knew if I was thinking about winning it then I'd probably focus less on my riding. So I found out at lunch after four stages I was coming second and not far off the lead. And then I just tried to focus on riding the next few stages as the best I could. <laughs> the top riders to come in for the result and so like me and Greg's dad and his team were all standing there and it was like has he done it has he done it and then like they made us wait for five minutes like longest five minutes of my whole life waiting for him to come down and it just oh man get proper emotional about it just like thinking about it again we rolled into the finish field and the time came up on the board and everyone just went mental like I just got mauled by everyone instantly and there was hundreds of people there going crazy and pick me up, crowd surfed, it was just unbelievable. Never be a day like it again. The one guy didn't cry at his wedding day, which was like the week before, but <laughs> cried because Greg won. <laughs> Everybody just couldn't believe it, was just so pleased. Mm. It's motivated me now to try stay at the top, you know, once you've won, you want to keep winning. So I'm second in the championship now, so, you know, we're in the room to win it or top three. You find that you two really help motivate each other to get up and do your training and see each other mm. through the races? Yeah, definitely, if there's a day where I'm less motivated to train, Katie will be motivated and she'll get up and train and then I'll feel bad, so. Put your relationship in the test of putting each other in a box for an extended period of time under the stress of uh, racing, it's mm. still working for us now, you know, kind of supporting each other mm. on the way to the top. But I'm not inspirational day with Katie and Greg but now it's time to put them back in their van so they can carry on living their dream. <laughs> He's just showing off now. What do you like? 